up guys, my name is Dalton and this is my van. I built this thing out because I love the flexibility that van life offers. You don't need to stay in the same place all the time. I still personally spend most of my time here at the beach in Southern California, but I'm not affording a beach house anytime soon. So in the meantime, this is what I call home. I sort of like the philosophy of treating the van as a bedroom, not as your whole house. Cook here, sleep here, but go out and let the world be your living room. Honestly, just kind of being in the small space of the van really encourages you to go out and explore. It gives some of us that push that we may need to not be so lazy. I know I need it. So I have a ton of physical hobbies. I like to surf, I like diving, I like yoga, rock climbing, martial arts, and sometimes my body just needs a little break. So I've been going through the process of trying to develop some less physical hobbies. One such hobby that I'll generally turn to happens to be gaming. Who doesn't love playing games? I like playing outdoor games, I like playing board games, and I also enjoy video games. Gaming for me is sort of a way to decompress from the outside world. I can escape into a sort of fantasy world where I don't have bills or responsibilities. A lot of my friends are also into gaming, so it's a really good way for us to just sort of socialize and bond. Maybe we're trying to save some distant planet, or maybe we're just trying to grow some virtual crops. I don't know, it's fun. <laughs> All right, without further ado, let's dive into my actual setup. In a van, space is an absolute premium. Electricity is limited and flexibility is paramount. I have 400 watts of solar up on the roof and that usually charges my batteries pretty thoroughly, but I really can't get too greedy with my setup. When factoring in electricity, flexibility, and space, I opted for a gaming laptop over a desktop. Now, it's nothing that'll really blow your hair back if you're hardcore, but for an average gaming Joe like myself, it gets the job done. So I got the Acer Nitro V, or maybe it's five, I don't know. I'll link it below for anybody who wants to check out all the specifications. So this thing is powered by an Intel Core i5 processor. It features an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4050 GPU and a 15.6 inch 1080p display running a 144 hertz refresh rate. It came with eight gigabytes of RAM, but I decided to upgrade that to 32 gigs just in case I want to maybe stream and play a memory intensive game at the same time, which I probably will at some point, who knows. One of my favorite things about the laptop is that I can kind of play it anywhere in the van. I don't have to be at a dedicated spot. I can play it by my front door. I can play it by my back door. I can play it on the couch. I can play it on the floor. So I connect to the internet off of my T-Mobile wireless router found right here. It's 50 bucks a month and I generally get pretty good speeds both up and down. I'll run a quick speed test right now to show you guys what we're pulling out here at the beach. Do a quick little test here. It's probably not even showing on there. I just ran one. I'm just running a second test for good measure. So we're 714 down. I'm not mad at that. And we're right about 100 on the upload. And I'm not mad at that either. Our ping is 34. I think it pings off a, a 5G tower out in LA. That's probably, I don't know, maybe 100 miles away if I had to guess. So you can see those two scores right there, 690 and 714 for the down and uh, 109 and 100 for the up. I'm really satisfied with those scores. I don't generally notice any lagging in my internet. Someday I'm probably gonna get myself a Starlink especially now that the new Starlink Mini came out. They're selling that 50 gig plan for 50 bucks a month, so it's the same that I'm paying for this right now. From my understanding, if you're in urban areas, you're probably better off going with a wireless router. But as I start spending more time out there in the boonies, that Starlink is definitely gonna be the way to go. Right now, I mean, I'm spending a lot of my time out at the beach and kind of urban dwelling or, or, or camping just around like houses and buildings. I generally have pretty good service with this, uh, this router here. Every once in a while, if my van door is closed, I feel like it might impact the signals coming through to my router, but generally it's good. I haven't had any like geographical restrictions. It doesn't seem like it's like geofenced to a specific area. 
You do need to provide an address if you get the wireless router though. So have an address of a friend or a family member you can use. So since I'm out here at the Pacific Ocean and I wanna give you guys a little demo of how the gameplay works uh, on this computer out here in a van, I thought a fitting game to play would be Subnautica. Let's do this thing. I'm just gonna start a new game. Subnautica is a survival game where you crash on an alien planet and have to essentially survive while learning about your environment and finding a way to escape. Almost the entire game takes place underwater. You need to make sure you get air to breathe, food to eat, water to drink, and don't get eaten by anything dangerous. That's not good. All right. Pretty sure that just knocked me out. Right. Let's see fire extinguisher. Oh my God. Flying stingray. All right, that must be my ship that crashed, and it's not really anything around. All right. I don't know why I'm swimming around with a. Uh, can I not? Yeah, I don't really want to swim around with my, um, what's that thing called? A fire extinguisher? All right, that thing looks like it's probably gonna attack me. It's an egg. Okay, I need to get breath, I need to breathe. Honestly, this is kind of what it looks like spear fishing, and uh, if you saw, is that my last video or a couple of videos ago? I went diving for lobster and it kinda, if the visibility was a bit worse, <laughs> it doesn't look unlike this. I don't think I can hold my breath as long as this dude is holding his breath for down here. Actually, maybe I can, but I'm definitely not swimming as deep as fast. What the hell is that thing? Oh, it's trying to eat this. Hey, I'm going to take that thing. That's right. This is mine now. Don't forget it. You have to establish your dominance early so the, uh, the sharks know who's in charge. I'm going to eat that for sure. And I'll eat this too. Gotcha. Who else wants to get eaten? You do. Come here. Ah, okay. Oh, no. I didn't even realize I was out of breath. I think I just drowned. That's so embarrassing. And those mushrooms, I mean, they're just, I think it's these ones. They're just everywhere. Yeah, we're gonna party with you guys later. Acid mushrooms. All right, we're getting into the dark kelp forests. Can I harvest this? Yes. Give me all of those. I'll stop that. Uh, let's repair this thing. This looks like calms, maybe? A radio. Ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine hours. I'm never getting help. Let's see how it looks now. Oh, geez, it looks like it's nighttime, boys and girls. Look at that pitch black all around, and then you just got the moon. Let's see what the water looks like in the pitch black. Ooh. So we got some bioluminescence over here. Also, look at that new, oh, look at that new oxygen tank. Are these guys just asleep at night? Maybe they'll be easy picking. They're like lobster. They're just chilling. 
Though I did go looking for lobster the other night, and it's kind of eerie being out there in the dark with just a flashlight. Maybe I'll show you guys a clip of that right now so you can kind of get an idea for what it looks like. Okay, let's go back in and see if we can't find that a bit. Let's explore a bit deeper. It's this way, right? Not so those guys get away from me. Shuttle bug. Said sulfur was detected and that I need sulfur. This looks sulfury. Come here. Oh no. Shoot. I think I'm getting too deep here. I think I have those fins. If you were to build out a van, which game would you most want to play in it? I need some game suggestions, so please let me know down in the comments below. With that said, thank you everyone for watching. Take care, and I love ya.